This process of、uh, collecting voices has been very transformative.、Um, I, I did the project with different hospitals,、uh, with different medical device companies. And you know, once I collected the voices of leaders in a healthcare organization, so they all recorded the last sound they like to hear. Uh, after they you know, recorded and I did the presentation, one of the people who recorded the voice、um, was walking in, in a hospital, and、uh, somebody she knew was carried into ICU and he was dying. Because she recorded her voice about last sound, she Managed to ask the family members, What do you think the last sound he wanted to hear? And the family said,、uh, He really liked Billy Joel. So they were able to play the music of Billy Joel as he was dying in ICU. Another story there was uh, uh, somebody who saw my presentation, and I think she's a social worker, and somebody was dying in a hospital. She Is a mother of two young children, and those kids were very scared. So, so the social worker person asked the kids, What do you think your mother、uh, likes to hear? What's, what's your mother's、uh, favorite music? And the kids said,、uh, Recently they went to see the movie about Queen, the band Queen, and the mother really liked the song Don't Stop Me Now. So the social worker held the hands of those two kids and they all you know, played the music from the phone and sang Don't Stop Me Now. They were all laughing and crying, and, and then the mother passed. You know, often. Not everybody is comfortable with the subject of end of life, and it might be too much for somebody to handle a question how would you like your end of life to be? But if we rephrase that and say, you know, this could be any sound that you like, what's the last sound you like to hear? Maybe it's a little bit more lighthearted. <laughs>